welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, if this is your first time here, and today we are going to be making Pottery Barn fall decor for $10 or less. So if you've been around here for a little while, you know that I love to recreate pricey items that I find online and make them more affordable for you so that you can enjoy them in your home without dropping a ton of money. These all turned out so awesome. I'm so excited to share them with you. So let's just hop right into the DIYs. So I have been dying to make a custom doormat and I saw this one on Pottery Barn that I loved. So I actually found a just plain doormat at Target for $6.99, it was on sale, but they sell for about $10 generally. And I used my Cricut to make this stencil to say gather, but if you don't have a cutting machine, you can just get letter stencils at the craft store. I did this all the time before I had my Cricut. So whatever you choose to do, you're just going to put the stencil right in the middle of your doormat. And then I'm using a couple of different sponge um, little like brushes to sort of just dab the paint right into the doormat and get it really into the fibers. It took me about two coats. And you can use an outdoor paint if this is going to be outside and not covered. I have a covered front porch, so I'm just using my regular acrylic paint. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just removing the stencil and the little pieces that were in the letters like H and T and G. And then what I'm doing is using some stencils that I got at the craft store. These are not sticky. So I taped them down with a little bit of painter's tape and they just sort of held it down with my hand. And again, used the same dabbing technique with my sponge brush. And I was not very particular about where I was placing all of these leaves because I wanted it to look like what I saw online. It sort of looked like the leaves had just fallen onto the doormat every which way. So that was really fun because you don't have to be too specific about where you're placing them. And I really liked how this turned out. I think it's beautiful and would make a great gift or perfect seasonal decor. So sometimes I like a more subtle fall decor, so not so much of the bright colors. Um, I do have like a lot of neutral decor in my house. So basically I saw this grapevine olive wreath at Pottery Barn and I just had to recreate it. So I got the wreath at Michael's for $4.99 and then I got the two olive um, branch stems on sale. So I believe it was two for $6. And what I did was just cut off the smaller part of the stems, and then I used those to sort of intertwine them into the grapevine. And I just sort of laid it out, and then I used some wire, so you can use floral wire if you have it, but I just had some bronze wire lying around from another project, so I just cut off a small piece. And then I used that to wrap it around both the stem and a piece of the grapevine, and that way it's going to secure it in place. And then I'm taking the next piece of olive branch and layering that over top of the first one to cover up where I had wrapped the wire around it. And for this project, you can add as many olive stems as you want or as few as you want. I tried to keep it sort of in the middle area. Um, I think I did about two layers of it and I really like the way this looked. It's really fun to style because you can add in more pops of color around it, but it's a really good neutral base piece for decorating. And last up are these pumpkin luminaries, which I think are so pretty. I had an old craft pumpkin that I stenciled years back, so I'm just reusing it for this project and I'm tracing this little cup on top. You can use anything circular so that you can just cut out the top, the stem, so that you'll be able to put an artificial candle inside. And then the next step is just to take a drill and to drill right into the craft pumpkin. They're made of foam, so it's very easy to do this. And I just made sure I kept the holes to the left of the little lines that were already on the pumpkin, just so that I use that as a guide so I can make sure the holes were even. And I went all the way around the pumpkin and that's really all you have to do. It looks so pretty at night. Um, if you have a pumpkin that's one solid color, you don't have to paint it. I decided to paint mine obviously because I had painted it in the past and I just wanted it to be a solid white color. So I did a few coats of paint to make everything even, but yeah, you can put a battery operated candle inside and it looks so pretty and glowy at night. I think this would be really pretty to make a few of these and stagger them on a porch area, any covered walkway, things like that for the fall season. All 
All right, let me know which one of those three was your favorite. I think mine might be the doormat, but let me know down below what you think. If you guys want more fall DIY ideas, I have a ton, so I'm going to leave a playlist right here for you. You can click on through to that and get a bunch of ideas for the season, and I can't wait to see you guys over there.